Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So today it's going to be booking this either day three or four. No, I think it's day three, but it could be day four. I'm having to kind of juggle things around. So I'm not entirely sure when I'm filming this, which day of bookmas this will be, but I hope you guys enjoy it nevertheless. So yes, today I have a very, very exciting video. I love filming this video every single year. It just makes me appreciate all the amazing artists out there and all of the bookish goodies. And it's just a really fun video to make. So today we're gonna to be doing a bookish gift guide. So if you yourself are looking to get something for a bookish person in your life or you're looking for stuff to treat yourself to or put on your Christmas list, then hopefully this video is perfect for you. I have lots of bookish things I'm going to show you guys in this video and I can't wait. So I guess we will get right into it by thanking the sponsor of today's video because they are going to be the first thing that I am going to mention. I feel like this is the perfect gift for a book lover. I love this company and this product so much. I've worked with them a few times now and I've had my serious light for over a year and I honestly adore it. I use it every single day for both reading and for general hobbies or just as a light. And I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I will never stop using it and talking about it. So yeah, the sponsor of today's video is Serious Readers. So thanks so much to them for sponsoring this video. So Serious Readers are a British company and they do make their reading lights here in the UK. And obviously here in the UK, it's very, very dark and cold. It is winter and there is nothing better than curling up inside with a hot drink and a book. And there's so little daylight in the day. So having this light is amazing because serious readers use a technology called daylight wavelength technology, which replicates the daylight spectrum as closely as technically possible. So it is perfect for those darker and shorter days. And I honestly love mine so much. There are also so many amazing features to these lights. So you can adjust the brightness, you can dim it or you can increase it. You can also adjust the light to have it exactly how you want it whilst you're reading. And another good thing is that their lights are fully customizable. So you can change the color, you can change the metal, you can have a heavy base, a lightweight base, and you can also have a floor or table light. So there's lots of different options to get it exactly how you want. So I will link the details of the light I have in the description box. It is from the Sirius Lights range, which consists of the high definition light, the Alex light, and the classic light. And these are the only lights that use the daylight wavelength technology. And also all products in the Sirius Lights range benefit from a five year warranty, which is just another added bonus. So Sirius readers have very kindly given me a discount code for you guys so this will get you 100 pound off their high definition lights plus free delivery so if you would like to take advantage of this amazing offer and get one of these lights for yourself or for another reader in your life then i'll have all the details linked in the description box and in the pinned comment i would highly recommend serious readers it is a great investment and it is the perfect gift in my opinion I love it so much and I'm sure yourself or whoever you get one for would also love it. So yes, thank you so much to Serious Readers for sponsoring this video. And now let's move on to all of the other bookish gifts that I have. Okay, so we're really not going to go in any particular order here, but I have a lot of things to get through. So yeah, anyway, the first thing I have is a, a reading journal. Now, reading journals, you can get them in many different formats. So this is a reading journal that I'm pretty sure I got in a subscription box and it just has these little sections already in it for you to write like the title a little bit about what you thought of the book a rating that sort of thing so you can get reading journals that consist of like kind of a simple design like this or you can get ones that have like loads more other features in so the quirky collective i think they're called do really good ones which i think i'm going to put my christmas list this year where it has like so many other additional things in there so you can get them like this which is obviously a great present for a book lover because quite often we do like to keep note of all the books we read and our ratings and it is just a really fun way of documenting all of the books that you read and your favorites ones you didn't like and it's just like a nice thing to have so you can get reading journals like this or you could simply buy them a plain journal and they can make the inside themselves but I think this is a really fun idea especially if the person is particularly creative it would be fun to maybe get a blank one and let them design it all inside but yes a reading journal is definitely something I want to start up again in next year so I think this is a really good gift for people and yeah there are so many beautiful designs out there like this one so moving on from the reading journal we're going to keep the stationary theme now I have three different things in one here to show you so yes annotation supplies these are a great gift not every single book lover does annotate their books but if you know that they do or they want to start then this is a great gift 
These sticky tabs are available on Amazon. They're really, really affordable. You can get lots of different colours and varieties. So you could just get some sticky tabs as a little stocking filler. But you can also get them some highlighters. So my favourite to use are the mild liner ones. So this is what my ones are for reference. Um, so you can get these in a variety of different colours. And I love to match my highlighters to my tabs and highlight and then use the corresponding like colour tab. So some highlighters and some sticky tabs would be a great gift for a book lover but you could go one step further and get them a little pot to put it all in so this one is actually one that i received in a subscription box i got this from a luma crate now i don't know if they sell these on their website but you can get so many book pots on etsy and you can also get them on amazon if you put in like bookish vase or something or even just book pot i'm sure some will come up but this is just like a really nice way to store all of your annotation supplies. It looks like a little bug. It's cute. It's pretty. It's small. And it keeps everything inside. So I feel like this would be a really, really lovely gift altogether to get a book lover. And yeah, I love this. So next we have bookish stickers. Now I have a variety of stickers in here. These are great because you can use these to decorate your Kindle, your laptop, your reading journal, whatever. Um, so there are so many nice options. I love to get most of mine from Redbubble or Etsy. So I would highly recommend having a look on there for some. But I do have this really cool sword one by Amazing Friend Castmade, which I love. I have one of these on my Kindle case. She does have a website, which I will link down below in the description. So you can get a variety of stickers there. But yeah, I just think like bookish stickers are just a really nice little gift to add. And they can be used in so many different ways. So following on from the cast sticker, I, I do also want to show this. So this is also made by Cass. Now I will link her store down below in the description. But Cass hand draws bookish maps and then you can get them as prints. So there's all the Sarah J Mass Universe ones. You can also get a fourth wing one and lots of others. So this is the Perithian one for Akatar, which look at the detail. I love this and this is just such a nice gift for someone to frame this for them to put on their bookshelf i honestly love bookish maps and i just think it's so nice to get one with this amount of detail i have this on my art wall in my office and i honestly love looking at it like it's so fun um so yeah a nice little bookish map art print would be perfect for a book lover but so would just like a book print anyway so you could get a generic one or you could get one of their favorite character so there are so many amazing artists I actually got this one at a convention recently and I cannot remember the artist's name off the top of my head but it's the artist who did the bookish boxes throne of glass set like years ago so they were at Yalk and I managed to get this so this is a violet from fourth wing but I have loads of throne of glass and akatar prints from this same artist and I've got them all framed on my wall and I love them so a bookish art print is perfect of their like favorite quotes of their favorite character but I honestly love these. Like, I just love art. <laughs> and since we were previously talking about stickers, I feel like this would be a good thing to show. So just as an example, I have a bunch of different bookish stickers on my Kindle. So I have a Kindle case that's clear and I've just blue tacked these down underneath and it's just so cute. This is the next gift that I was going to talk about. So this is definitely a more pricey one. This is absolutely not affordable whatsoever. These are very expensive in my opinion. Are they worth it? I would say so because they're convenient. You don't have to carry a book around. You can just take this in your bag. It's lightweight. And you can also get a Kindle Unlimited subscription where you get access to lots of free titles as well. So I would say they're worth their money if the person maybe already reads on their phone or maybe commutes a lot or just wants a Kindle. They are a really good investment. So I would definitely say a Kindle is a really good gift, but obviously it's not the most affordable. But yeah, this one is a paper white. I don't know which one it is. Jamie got me this for Christmas a couple of years ago. So this next one I'm very excited for and you will see why in a moment. So bookmarks. Bookmarks are a very, very obvious one, but honestly, trust me, as a bookworm, we love them. Especially when they're of like our favorite series or our favorite book, there's nothing better better than having new bookmarks and there's no such thing as too many bookmarks okay there's absolutely not so I have recently launched my own bookmarks over on Etsy which I figured I would show in this video because I'm really excited to share them with you guys so I do have a variety of different ones and I'll link these below in the description um but these are the ones that I have so firstly we have this fourth wing one now I do apologize if the lighting isn't great but there are plenty of images available on the listings but we have this fourth wing one with a quote here from Violet we then have this one which is a books iced coffee and Taylor Swift one so if you have a Swifty in your life 
and they like books then this might be perfect for them then next we have this divine rivals one this is my favorite divine rivals quote it's honestly iconic and I'm a little bit obsessed with it I'm not gonna lie then have this a Christmas themed one which says seasons readings which I love it very cute we have this cute little Christmassy one with just like a nice festive print then have this Taylor Swift festive inspired one which says tis the damn season which I am currently using this bookmark now and I honestly love it so much then we have this stars holly bookmark so if they are a Gilmore Girls fan and a bookworm then this is the bookmark for them. This is the Stars Holly Book Club one and I love it. I think it's so cute. Then have the Festive Book Club bookmark, which again is another little adorable one. I love these. It's like a little ticket and I just think they're really cute. We have the Winter Book Club version. Again, super adorable. Love the cozy vibes. This one is for my Akatar girlies. So we have the Valaris Book Club, which I love this bookmark so much. It's just... I love it. I love how it's very like simplistic and minimal and not too in your face bookish, but it is bookish, you know? I just love it. Um, the lighting is doing this no favours, but honestly, I'm obsessed with it. And then the last one we have is this one, which is in my fantasy book era. So yes, there are lots of bookmarks available over on my Etsy. So if you guys did want to check it out, I will link it down below. I don't know if sure if I'm going to restock these. It depends. So yeah, what's there is there. Um, so hopefully you guys check those out. Thank you so much if you do. But yeah, I really wanted to create some more bookmarks after Vampathon and I love all of these. Like, I just love them. I'm so happy with them. So yeah, if you guys did want to check them out, they will be linked down below. But any bookmarks are a great gift. There are so many amazing stores on Etsy. I get all of my bookmarks if I order any from Etsy because all of the artists on there just do the most incredible art. So I would highly recommend you check out Etsy for any bookmarks and a just nice bookish art so the next item we have is pin badges again this is a nice little gift that can go in a stocking or something and this can be used in a lot of different ways i have like these little fabric hangy things and i pin all my pin badges on there and i put the occasional one on like my tote bag or my backpack but this is one that i have here which is a crescent city inspired one and it says light it up I just think these are such nice gifts so you could get them a little pin badge of their favorite book this one is by geekandartsy.com they have some stunning badges i have quite a few from them and i honestly adore them they're such good quality so i just think this is a nice little gift and not a lot of people might think about getting and i feel like it would be really appreciated by any book lover okay so following on from that we have a bookish jewelry now there are so many incredible bits of bookish jewelry on a variety of websites even pandora has a game of thrones range now which i kind of want um but i'm going to show you a couple that i really love so the first one i have i got on etsy now i did get this for christmas a few years ago but i think if you just put in akatar necklace this should just come up so this has one of my favorite bookish quotes of all time on i don't know if you guys can see it very well because the light's reflecting back um, but it's just this cute little necklace with a quote on and a little book charm. So you can get lots of cute necklaces on Etsy with quotes on, without quotes. So this necklace, I think this is from Throne of Books, I want to say they were called. I got this at a convention. But this is a locket shaped like a book and you can put photos in it. I just haven't yet. Um, but I love this. I have this with a dragon on too. And this is just a really lovely gift. So a bookish locket, like quite literally, it's a book and... I'm obsessed with it i love it i also have this ring now i actually got this on ebay but this is like a little bat one with a crystal and i got this because it reminds me of the bat boys from the akatar series so again things like that bookish rings you can get bracelets all sorts earrings you name it you'll be able to find it so bookish jewelry is definitely an amazing gift and i feel like because you can wear it every day it's just like really nice so yeah, I would definitely recommend bookish jewellery. Then we have book sleeves. These are perfect for keeping your books safe. And we all want to keep our books safe and protected. So I have a variety of these. I have so many book sleeves, guys. Like, I have a whole basket full. It is out of hand. So a lot of mine are from book boxes over the years. But I have invested in a few myself from Etsy. So you can get them in different kind of textures and materials and designs so for example this one is like a waterproof one kind of it has this quote on it has a zip on the top and you just pop your book in and it will keep it safe in your bag whenever you're traveling and they're just great honestly you can get crocheted ones and everything um you can get them like this you can get them without a zip and there's also ones that go round your book like this and you can like pop a little button there and like fasten it up 
there's also ones that actually fit onto your book and curl all the way around as well so these are just a great gift and i love book sleeves honestly like i use these all the time on my bag because i do not want to get my books damaged so yeah book sleeves are a really really nice gift so next is a bookish calendar and i just had to show this so i got this recently in a fairy loop box so this is a sarah j mass inspired calendar for 2024 you can get calendars in lots of different formats you can get classic ones you know that like of paper you can get these ones which i've never had one of these before and i'm so excited so oh, you guys are not ready and neither am i honestly so this one is a little stand and basically what you do pop the little stand wherever you want and then you simply just put the card in like this and it has your calendar on it how stunning is that i love this i think this would be an amazing gift yeah you can get lots of bookish calendars on the internet this one was exclusive to the fairy loop box so you can't purchase this but there are lots out there and i'm just obsessed these all have foiling on there's all different characters and i am honestly just obsessed i'm sorry but it's now may 2024 until i say otherwise like this forget all the other months it's only may <laughs> like i'm obsessed um so yeah i honestly love a good bookish calendar everyone loves a calendar so why not make it bookish so next we have bookish tote bags now i only have one here to show you but i own about 50 and i'm not exaggerating it's probably more than 50 this is my most recent one that i've purchased and i love it so this one is from an artist called bluey boo who is one of my all-time favorite bookish artists and i'm going to be showing more of their stuff in a moment but bookish tote bags perfect any tote bag for a book went perfect we will always be carrying books on us at all times or shopping for books and having a tote bag is a must so this is the one that i'm currently obsessed with i love it it just has everything i like on it and it's also very simplistic i'm obsessed with it honestly and i just love tote bags you can never have too many because whenever you go shopping you will always need something to put all your stuff in and when we're all buying books, a tote bag is just the thing that you must have with you at all times. <laughs> okay, so next is bookish subscriptions. So my favourite is a fairy loot. Now, a little disclaimer, <laughs> I do work at fairy loot. However, I have been a subscriber since 2017. So if that doesn't tell you how much I love fairy loot, I don't know what will. Like, I was a subscriber for six years. Like, I love fairy loot and yeah so basically fairy loot is a monthly subscription you can get a young adult one you can get an adult one and you can also get a combo without the goodies so the ya one comes with the goodies such as the calendar and lots of other things and you get an exclusive book every single month which are honestly just stunning so yeah i think a book subscription is an amazing gift to get someone so fairy loot is my favorite so there are many bookish subscriptions so you have a luma crate you've got afterlight which is also like a romance version of a luma crate you You've got the bookish box you've got fake crate i think the broken binding does one and goldsboro i think they're called there's also the locked library which is done by a publisher so there are lots of bookish boxes that you can get so a book subscription is an amazing gift as is a general gift card for a bookworm so you could get one for a bookstore and i'm sure that will be greatly appreciated um but i did want to mention book boxes because i just love these getting these every single month is the highlight of my month it's such a lovely thing to receive it's like a mini version of christmas every time you get to open them i love them um so yeah a book subscription is a great gift and speaking of special editions of books there are a few different things you can get so i recently got these from bluey boo so these are complete special editions you can also get anniversary and special editions through actual bookstores and bookish boxes or you can purchase them on stores such as etsy um so these are by bluey boo so these come with full custom dust jackets so we have the actor one and the fourth wing one i also own this in another color because i'm not obsessed but not only do these have stunning dust jackets they also have these amazing custom spread edges which i'm obsessed with so i just think like a special edition of someone's favorite book the perfect gift i don't think you could find a more perfect gift honestly and i would highly recommend bluey boo i love their special editions but they also do just the dust jackets which brings me on to my next one is custom dust jackets you can get them individually for various books you can get sets i love custom dust jackets i have 13 of akatar alone and about four of throne of glass so i am a very big fan of custom dust jackets i just love collecting different editions and different art of my favorite series and this is one of my favorites so this is the custom dust jacket here it's gorgeous it has a different cover character art everything i just love these so much 
custom dust jackets are an amazing gift and I just love artists. Thank you for your service, honestly. Like, they're just, it's just so stunning. Like, look at the art on the back as well, honestly. I just love them and I will never stop buying custom dust jackets of my favourite books. So next I have a very large item to show you guys but I feel like this is a really good gift. So this is a reading cushion. So I got this from TK Maxx and this was £25 which is really really good. You can get these on Amazon. It is so soft. It's basically a big cushion that you sit in and you can rest your arms on it. It has a pocket for your phone. And this is just the perfect thing for a reader, honestly. Like, sitting on the floor, in bed, whatever, with this cushion. 10 out of 10 levels of comfort, honestly. This is just such a cool gift to get a reader. And I just don't think a lot of people would think to get it. And if someone had bought me this for Christmas, I would have been so delighted, honestly. Like, I would have been ecstatic. So I guess you could get, like, a reading pillow like this one or even a little reading chair if you can do that a reading chair is also a great gift and to go with it why not get a blanket or one of these so this is by a company i worked with them a few years ago and i've forgotten what they're called off the top of my head i can't remember their name but i will link them in the description box but basically this is a blanket but it has a hood on it and you can also fasten it so you can wear it as a cape and it is amazing. I have three of these. And you can get all different designs on the back as well. And they're super soft. And it's literally just a wearable blanket. But as a cape, like, I feel like a wizard when I wear it, honestly. So one of my favourite Etsy stores is Bookish Bako. And I have so many of their t-shirts and hoodies. I love them. So one of the ones I'm going to show you is this one. So this is a recent one. I've worn this a lot. Um, but I love this so much. They do all different, like, t-shirts, fandoms, hoodies, all that stuff. Um, so they're called Bookish Bay. I will have them linked in the description box. But the Etsy store is amazing. I love them. I also got this hoodie from them. Um, please excuse the cat hair that is on it though. Um, but this is a Sarah J Mass Universe hoodie. And I love it so much. It has all the different Sarah J Mass character names on. And I'm just obsessed with this. I wear it all the time. It's so comfortable. And I love it. And then my second favourite store to buy clothes from is Enchanted Oddities. Oh my god, their stuff is to die for, but it is impossible to get. I was able to get this stuff a lot easier, like, last year, but they have just grown in size so much. It's, like, things just sell out within a minute. It is insane. It is only run by one person, I believe, so they can only make, like, so much. Like, it's just not physically possible for them to make enough to meet the demand, so I do get it, but it is really sad because I missed out on so many drops recently because i just cannot get stuff in my basket quick enough but honestly i would highly recommend them if you're able to snag anything the quality amazing honestly just so good this is my favorite i've bought from them but i own about six different things from them i think so this is the night court purple like lilac hoodie and it's all embroidered i love it so i got this in a medium and it's very oversized and it's so cozy i love it um, so this is the night court hoodie and then I have like various jumpers from them um, like this like sweatshirt so this is one that says the 13 I have some Akatar ones, some Dona Glass ones and a Crescent City one I think so yeah I honestly love their clothes so much so I will have both of those stores linked below but like bookish merch is just 10 out of 10 gift honestly this one's kind of random but a dagger so a replica dagger this is a letter opener so you can get these on etsy but honestly if someone bought me a real dagger i would be so happy i really want a replica sword from some of my favorite books but it's so hard to find any so if anyone knows anyone in the uk who specializes in making custom swords specifically from fantasy books let me know in the comments because i really want to get a sword made so bad but i just cannot find any um so yeah let me know please but this is like a really fun one i use this on display but obviously it does have a actual purpose but i feel like this would be a really cool gift to get someone especially if they're a fantasy lover so next we have bookish overlays now i have various ones of these already in my hardcover books but for some reason, I'd also ordered the paperback ones. I do already have these, but I also have them in paperback, apparently. And basically what page overlays are, are they are scenes from specific books with art um, that you put over the page. And it's just a really nice thing to have in the book. So these are from the Court of Thorns and Roses um, series. And these are what they look like. Yeah, so these are by the Reading Portal. They do my favourite bookish overlays. I don't know if I've got these the right way around, to be honest. Um, but yeah, these are just so cool. I've got these for so many books now. And I love buying them. Honestly, I've got like three pre-orders of page overlays at the moment. Yeah, oh, this is my favourite ever. 
Um, so yeah, page overlays are amazing. Like they're just such a nice thing to keep in your favorite books. The reading portal is my favorite place to get them, but there are a few others. Also, Instagram is like the main way I find out about all of these, and it's just literally through like discovery pages and stuff. So I would recommend looking through Instagram to find like accounts that do bookish art because yeah, I found like everywhere I buy from I found through Instagram pretty much. Um, but yeah, page overlays, I just think are such a unique gift. I love them so much and I think most people would. So next we have a bookish mug. So this is also from Bookish Bay, who does some of the clothing merch. So I love this mug. I use it all the time and it's very big, which makes me so happy because I love a big mug of tea. So this is a Sergei Mass inspired mug and it has all these different things on i love it so much so yeah this is from bookish buy on etsy adore that but you can also get like ones like this so this is from a book box but you can get things like this from a lot of artists and this has like the character art on it so i think this is from blood and ash i want to say um so yeah bookish mugs you cannot go wrong with a bookish mug honestly like especially if they're a tea or coffee lover you will definitely be in the good books if you got these <laughs> then of course bookish candles i have so many bookish candles now two of my all-time favorite candle stores who did bookish ones have unfortunately closed so i was trying to figure out which are the ones i have that aren't closed and are still open so one of them is midsummer child and this is the valaris candle now they do ones that have this really cool i'd say dark academia aesthetic so it's very simplistic and i do really like them so this one is a sarah j mass one and um, so they do have a website and oh it just smells so good like this does smell exactly how i'd picture valaris to smell um so yeah they do various different bookish candles and they're quite subtle as well and they smell incredible so i definitely recommend midsummer child and then my last item is bookish light boxes now i feel like these are quite a new thing i love them so much i have four of these i have one which was from litjoy which is pretty much similar to this one and then i have three sarah j mass ones these are all from the reading portal i want to say i think it was the reading portal i want to say that it was I think it was but this one is an Akatar one as you can tell we have Facend. I have a Throne of Glass one and I also have a Crescent City one so my button at the back is kind of messed up so I do have to stop it for it to come on. I don't know if you be able to tell because my lights but it does light up look how cute this is and when this is on your shelf it's like a little book nook but it lights up and it's just it's stunning I love these so much I think they're such a nice gift and that also leads me to like book nooks you can get them on etsy where you can make them and stuff but i think bookish lights are one of the best things to ever come out of the book community i love them they're such a nice little addition to your shelf and i just love it i love it so much so yeah that concludes the end of this bookish gift guide i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you got lots of ideas for gifts and that you go and check out some of these artists because i honestly love everything i have showed here i love all the stuff i use it on the regular I'm obsessed with it cannot recommend all of this stuff enough honestly i will leave as many artists and shop websites linked down below as i can of what i've showed in this video i'll also link my etsy store so you guys can check out the bookmarks so yeah let me know what is on your bookish christmas list what things do you usually buy for the bookworm in your life i would love to know if there's anything else that i haven't included in here or just anything in particular you guys really want to get your hands on i still need to make my christmas list but i definitely going to be including a lot of bookish things and i did already buy myself some christmas presents so i did buy some new bookish merch and i cannot wait for it to arrive it is coming from america so it's going to take a while um but yeah i just love bookish merch it's just one of my favorite things to buy and yeah i just i love it <laughs> so if you did make it to the end of this video leave a pink emoji in the comments and do let me know if this video was helpful i hope you guys really enjoyed it i will also have the link to my patreon in the description box so you will be able to get early access to my upcoming bookmas content you also get access to our monthly readathon our monthly buddy read and there's live shows extra videos hauls discord and lots of other things that is all over my patreon so if you were interested in that you can find the link in the description and you can find the links to all of my other social medias and so on down there thank you so much to serious readers for sponsoring this video don't forget to check out the discount code in my description box along with the link to their website would highly recommend and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you are enjoying bookmas i hope you're reading a lot of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>
kind of cold 